Hey guys, it's Destiny, and it's Friday, so that means you get to see my face. Hopefully you'll see my face, because YouTube hates me, and it never lets me upload, like, ever. Or just something happens. And sorry I didn't upload last week, it just would not upload for some reason. It just kept telling me that it wasn't working. And I even recorded it on the t Thursday before to make sure that I would be able to upload, and it still wouldn't, of course because it hates me. So this week's topic is about turn-ons or weird turn-ons that we have. I'm going to kind of change it up a little bit because I'm going to talk more about things that catch my eye in people or like things that I like in guys. And the absolute biggest thing other than like appearance like personality wise, this is all like personality wise. But the biggest thing is intelligence. I really like smart people. I feel like they're just better. Like, why wouldn't you want to be smart? I feel like the smarter you are, the better you're off. Better off you are. But, yeah. So, there's that one. I am really kind of out of it right now because I don't ever sleep at all. And I haven't, I didn't sleep at all last night. And I took a nap today, probably for like an hour and a half to two hours. And I am up now. And I have to wake up early tomorrow. And I'm probably not going to go to sleep because I am terrible. And I just, I don't know. So another thing that I really like about, or when a guy, or whatever something I like in a guy is when they share the same love for music as me because music is a huge part of my life it always has been so when I can sit down with a guy and talk about music or if he likes the same music as me like has good music taste or shows me more good music that I like I just love to sit down or text or just talk about music I could talk about music forever and I probably bore people a lot with it because that's all I ever talk about, really. I don't know. I might be crazy. I like guys that are open-minded. Basically, anyone that's open-minded, though. Not specifically guys. Just, I like when you can, like, tell someone something about something, like, crazy or, like, a deep conversation, and they don't think you're crazy and like they're open minded about it and they actually are interested and want to hear about it which is cool I like to have deeper conversations like that with people that kind of goes along goes along with the intelligence thing I just I like to have deep conversations and then I also like a guy that along with the deep conversations that's more of like a mature thing like mature people more mature people probably have more deeper conversations and I like a guy that can be mature when it's the right time to be mature but also can have fun and be immature at the right time there's a time and place for everything and I feel like it's good if you know when that time is and I like someone that's goofy which is also along with the whole knows when to be immature or be able to just like have fun and funny. I like people that can make me laugh. I like to make people laugh even though my jokes are really stupid most of the time and people are probably only laughing because they are so stupid that it's funny. And I just like to have a good time and laugh a lot because laughing is great. And I like someone that can trust me and someone that I can trust. I feel like that's a huge part in like any relationship whether it's a boyfriend girlfriend or a friend or family or anything just being able to trust someone is like the best thing ever because then you don't have to like hide yourself you can be yourself and know that they're still gonna be there for you and everything and just like be able to tell them whatever and then this is more of like a negative thing I don't like when people underestimate me so if you like believe in me and like you support me and understand no matter how crazy it sounds or whatever I'm gonna do it and 
if you underestimate me, it's just going to make me want to do it more. And so, but if you support me, it's going to make me want to do it more too. So either way, I'm still going to do it. It's just more of a positive thing if you believe in me and actually support me, which is good. And I'll do the same. I like to support people. Even if I don't agree with the subject, I'll still support them because you care about them or whatever, whether it's a friend or anything. And I really like like nerdy guys, the guys that play video games and stuff. Well, not like guys that constantly play video games and would rather play a video game than hang out with me or something. But I'll definitely let them play video games when they want to play their video games. Or I can play video games with them because I also enjoy video games. And then, just like, nerdy kind of goes into the intelligence thing, but that's more of just like, it's a, I totally just blanked the word that I was going to say, but intelligence is more, I don't know, I don't know what I was going to say. So, let's forget that. I like guys that are nerdy. And I would rather have a dorky guy than a romantic guy. Like, I would rather go on a fun little, like, hangout thing than go and have expensive dinner and buy me a bunch of stuff. Because I hate when they buy me stuff. Because it's kind of like they're trying to win you over with money. But if I'm there, I obviously already like you or want to try to get to know you more. And by you buying me stuff, it makes me feel like you're trying to make me like you for things that you're buying me. And that's not true at all because I would rather like you for who you actually are than something that you do for me. And then, but I like like a dorky romantic guy because I feel like it's cute when they try to be, but it's not like they don't spend a bunch of money. It's just like cute little things like... It doesn't even have to be, like, money involved. Like, if they just draw you a cute little picture or something, just, like, the thought. And if they're, like, dorky and trying to be romantic, it's just cute and dorky. I like that. Basically, that's basically it. Well, there's a lot more that, there, that I like. But this is, like, the main points and stuff and ones that I could really think of. So, hopefully I'll be able to post this video, if not, then that sucks because, you know, it hates me. Alright, well, I like didn't look at the camera like the whole time, I don't know why, but you know, yeah, it's getting kind of long, it's like 8 minutes long, so I'm gonna talk to you guys next Friday, so I'll see you later.